and I trust my own hands better. Not gonna lie, this is the part that has made me the most nervous. Basically, what I'm going to do is punch a hole right about there. Now, this is the only spare manifold I have in this size. Um, obviously, I would hope it's obvious anyway that I've left the existing manifold on uh, the working engine uh, because if we break one we don't want it to be our only part so I've chosen that spot roughly that distance down um, because if you look at the neck it sort of follows that sort of line all, all the way around here. All right. Roughly like that. Uh, I'm very, very cautious about drilling this because it's just seamed. It's just two halves that have been cut in half. Oh, not cut in half, sorry. Um, cast in half and then just basically pressed together and polished. Um, I'm hoping that because it's a softer metal, it's not going to be such a royal pain in the ass. The real question is, is will I be able to mark it with a punch? That That was easier to punch than the PVC was. That's close enough to center. Well, let's face it, these are not high precision machines. Same as before, we're starting with a smaller bit. It's easier to drill and then work your way up, I've found. Especially when you're just working off the cuff of your pants like I am. Seat of your pants, working off the cuff. Now, question is, Dremel's still plugged in. That's so dangerous. Dremel, 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 we don't make you out of clay. Although you could probably shape her. Now I was at one point planning on using these to, to hold it, but the grip's too far apart and I don't have a vise. And I trust my own hands better. Why is that going back? It's a lovely clean hole, albeit, look I'm not even going to say that's off center. I don't know how well that's going to show up on this camera. Let me just get behind it here. This is of course my $40 action camera. Uh, look, the light's not brilliant, but you can kind of see. Um, I'm not going to jump straight up to 5mm from here because that, I think that's too big of a, too big of an increase. And these are cheap bits. Alrighty, so let's put 
2.5 mil back. We'll jump up by a mil. Do have to be careful not to punch the other side of the intake. Look, that's barely centre. I'm going to be happy with that. We'll just keep going up incrementally a mil at a time, I think. Um, this is really, really weak metal. I don't want to put too much stress on it. The last thing I need is for that to crack. Although I've got enough JB weld there to probably make my own manifold. Let's not test that. For the record, I am not nearly skilled enough to make a manifold out of JB weld to see if it works. Although that's an idea for another channel. Steal it. Go and message that to Project Farm. He's done two strokes like this before. Can you make a manifold out of JB weld? God, I'd love to see that. I've already got the 5mm bit out, so we'll pop that away. Break my own rule here and jump from four to six. We'll see how we go. I do feel like jumping two mil at a time is a bit much. Um, it really sort of grabbed the metal and I don't want to risk uh, damaging it. But our hole is coming along nicely. Ugh, that was originally what I was going to go was a, a plug that size, but that is way too big for that. So that's the size we're going for. And we've got a ways to go yet, but that's looking like it's going to be good. Very happy. Right. Look, at least we've jumped past the half mils. We'll go to six to seven. Glad I caught that on camera. Manifold, manifold, where you go? Now, it has completely gutted that. I did not have a strong grip on it. incrementally in half mils now. In the end I'm glad I ended up buying the kit because it allows me to be a bit more careful. And I want this hole to be as clean as possible. We're going from 7 to 7.5. It's harder with the larger sizes, obviously the bite is a bit... I'm getting a bit wobbly in my old age. Bit. 
going 8.5. Better to be safe than sorry, I think. Okay. This is why it is a good idea to have a vice, and I've punched the back end of that, unfortunately. <sighs> you know what? As clumsy as I am doing this without a vice, I'm just not afraid of power tools. You get an instinct when it's about to bite. Alright, that was our last bite. Let's go ahead and unplug that. Alright, now I'm going to just grab this here. That is our pilot hole. Still, with the amount of metal putty I've got down there, I probably don't even need to thread the hole. Yes, I want to use the grammar. Okay, fire.
everything. Perfect. It's the exact one that comes in it. Beautiful. Now one last little detail. The devil did I do with it now? That's what I get for putting things back where I got them. Constantly losing them. Don't grab the cutting disc by the sharp edge, you bloody numb. That'll just get chewed up and spat out anyway. So, if my theory is correct, then that will snug deeply into that. My God. I am an artist. Now, you saw me eyeballing that. Right. That is almost perfectly flush. Alright. So I'm just 90% sure that I wasted an entire video. Uh, what you didn't see was me with the black gloves on and a lump of JB Weld sort of epoxy gluey stuff, which yeah, it's right there. 
basically just went around and pressed it around all the edges to try and help a a bit of rigidity don't want this coming out with vibrations um, and also hopefully to stop any air leaks that might have made it through um, so I'll set that to dry in essence That is our boost bottle. So that will go under the motor. This will sit somewhere up on the frame. Now obviously I'll shorten this to match um, because the length of the tube of course adds to the capacity in the bottle. Um, but I don't see it having to be any longer than necessary. Anyway, because the vacuum pressure in here should still suck the fuel a ways up the tube. So now I must go and set these somewhere outside the set. And that will be for another video.